Hey amigos de la charla, pues hoy tenemos una invitada muy especial que estoy muy contento, muy complacido de, de poder decirle hola, decirle bienvenida a nuestro programa y poder decirle que estamos muy emocionados de conocer su proyecto, de celebrar sus éxitos. Es una artista, una nueva artista que sin lugar a dudas ha hecho muchísimo a nivel de streaming, ha sido portada de Viva Latino, la vimos en Times Square también. Eh, tiene más de 3 millones de seguidores en TikTok, es un fenómeno y ahorita nos dice a todos, párate, párate, porque hay que pararse, ¿no? Cuando todo ha estado como medio weird en este eh, 2020, pues llega a Laina para decirnos, hey, come on, let's go, stand up, párate. Y... How are you, how are you doing? Thank you for being here en la charla. Thank you for having me and thank you for all those nice words, bro. <laughs> no worries. I need to I need to introduce uh, your uh, your talent, your goals this year. For I sure. know you you are a young artist, but you have a a big dreams in your career. Mm -hmm. How you feel it? Uh, Parate, the new release. This amazing song. Congrats. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah, it's like. That was a really big switch from all of the other Spanish songs that we'd done before because, you know, we had like the triste canciones y cosas así, así que this one was different because it was like the, it just kind of, it was like, get up, stand up, parate, come on, like, so, you know, 2020 vibes, really, because yeah. 2020 has been crazy, but yeah. You're producing a lot of music this year, no? I know mm -hmm. you, you're quarantined inside the studio with your producer, creating mm. songs and, and research, new vibes for your music. How was this year maybe about it? Mm -hmm. yeah. So this one, like, it's been kind of weird because we've just been in the studio with each other, like literally every single day. Yeah. So it's kind of, we're just experimenting and, and trying out so many different things. And I like doing that because I don't like to be predictable with my music. I like to release things that, you know, that mean something and that are different and that just go with whatever I'm feeling. So mm -hmm. it's been, it's been really, really fun. But I also do want to start touring. Like I want to leave my house. Sabes? So yeah. You have a uh, Christian family. Uh, mm -hmm. I know you, your first uh, maybe stage are inside the, The, the church, you know, mm -hmm. I know about the, your influences. It's so interesting. Maybe mm -hmm. you like, you like the, the Rosalia style, but you listen Elvis Presley. It's a, yeah. you know, <laughs> it's two lines, two different, but you know, it's music. Mm -hmm. at the end, no? Yeah. It's like the things you get inspired by. And that kind of reflects in my music because I do like to play with so many different like genres. So whenever Romans and I are in the studio, like, oh, sorry, we'll just go with whatever we feel at that time. So uh -huh. uh, yeah. what is this story about that your producer uh, sent a DM? No, he sent me a DM on Instagram and he was like, hey, like, love your stuff. Would love to see like how we work together and things like that. And I was like, mm. what's like, the name? Romans. Romans. Roman. Yes, yes, yes. And then we like flew out to LA and it was, it was great. I thought it was going to be like awkward and stuff, but nah, his, we just, we get along. So it's, it's good. Like that's why whenever we're in the studio and stuff, that's why we're able to be in the studio with each other like every day. because we just joke. We just what, joke. What, what do you think what the special thing your producer put their eyes in your music? I don't know. I think cause, cause we both have different styles so it's fun to like see where they meet because sometimes like i'll do something and he's like no and then like he'll do something and i'm like you know maybe not so i think like he said that it just we work together nicely because it's easy that's okay. that's the good thing like if we want to try something if i want to try something that that i started because i'm like into r&b and slow songs and like doing all that stuff but he likes the upbeat things so it's nice to like have a little mix of that. Yeah. You're Mexican-American, no? My dad is from Mexico, San Luis Potosí. So, okay. but my mom's from Ohio. And Ohio. But you want to sing in Spanish. Why? Pues, my dad like never spoke in Spanish to me. as he could do it in, in high school. Okay. And that was something that like, 
I was very proud of it because I actually managed to like learn a good amount and then it was easy to go and speak to my family or things like that. So then it just kind of got into my creative process and, and how I thought and all the shows that I watched and everything. So I started to think in Spanish and like write songs in Spanish and stuff. And then it just integrated over into, you know, who I am as an artist. So we were like, let's write some songs in Spanish. And then it just, we were like, okay, this is, that's good. What's the first song you heard? The first song in Spanish. Um, no sé de quién, pero solamente una vez. Solamente una vez. Sí. Okay. Okay. Solamente una vez. Like, y nada más. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's a ballad. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't remember right now who he is, but I know it's a, it's a classic. It's a ballad. It's a classic. Sí. Okay. This year you released uh your EP Mensajes de Voz. Let me tell me about that in experience. Sí, pues, so I had the antisocial butterfly, my first one, and then voice notes, the second, and then we decided to do the English or the Spanish one as well. Yeah. And that one was more like this it fue muy vulnerable, más más vulnerable que um, antisocial butterfly porque yo estaba hablando de mis problemas y usualmente no me gusta hablar like of everything happening in my life mm -hmm. so this was like a very like deep getting into it and the fact that you know I did it in Spanish as well it just kind of like it hits different in each language and no matter what song that you sing but this one was just like there's a little bit of, of a different kind of beauty in it so it was going through con mis amigos, con mi familia, problemas de la pasada, um, el pasado, just kidding. Um, so it was kind of everything that, that I wanted to put into music, into music. You like the purple color? You look mm -hmm. great to, today. You look amazing. Your swag is <laughs> yeah. so different. No. That's nice. Is your merch? Sí. sí. I love wearing like jackets and everything, so I'm always warm. <laughs> I love this moment in, in the music careers for uh, the girls. Right now, the girls have power. I love yeah. that. I love that. What do you feel about it? I feel like people are just starting to come into... Like, everybody's just like, bro, this is... You know, you only have one life that you're aware of. You only have one, like, time to really go and do things and be who you are. And, and so many people who were letting their fear get in the way, who are letting like other people tell them what to do. now they're just like, no. So it's, it's shining in, in so many people's, especially in their creative artwork as well. Cause I know like, I'm just like even more vocal about just being who you are and, and not letting other people tear you down or tell you what to do because why get sad over that why waste your time so to see other people especially females like go out and do that it's just like it's like yes like please go shine yeah. i want to say three names beach boys yes you like it why your your dad or or, or maybe um, your, your mom or what it's your mama pero solo yo sé que when I was a kid that was the only thing that were like not the only thing but when I was like swimming outside or like whenever we were driving somewhere to the beach or wherever the beach boys were playing so they kind of just I didn't realize it until I stopped listening to them and then I listened to them later and I was like I know this song like I know this song so it was just like all the memories from my childhood came back and then I was like okay the beach boys definitely had like an influence on me. All right. E, uh, Whitney Houston. See. Mm. Amazing. Hey, Amazing. So, no, work, no? <laughs> this was my mom probably introduced me. I just remember um, I Will Always Love You. All like right. the power, the power in that song. It literally, power. like, that song was the thing that just made me. Like I practiced it and I practiced it and I practiced it so many times in my spare room and everything. So it was just like, she kind of showed me like, okay, I want to sing. I want to be able to reach those notes. That's good. That day, tell me about mm -hmm. that day. You, you can talk with your parents about, oh my God, you know what? For me, I love the music. This is my career. <laughs> yeah, when I was a kid, mm -hmm. I always just like, 
would say that I wanted to be a singer and stuff. And they're like, cool. Now, what do you really want? <laughs> so nice, when, nice. Like, yeah, <laughs> whenever I like, decided to actually do it on YouTube and go after it and like drop out of college basically to continue, yeah. I thought they were going to be, it was like a slow process because, you know, they're the ones telling me to like study and to like just stay on top of my school stuff and focus on the stuff that like, you know, can happen. But I was like, no, like, I want to try and do this. I want to see if I can go and like just create the life that I want to live basically. And then whenever I told them we were in the car driving and (laughs) it was basically just like my dad was kind of asking me questions about school. And I was like, yeah sure like it's all good and he was like so are you going to continue next year and I was like "Um." (laughs) and then that that was it like I guess they kind of knew because they were just they knew that I was like dead set on just wanting to do this so yeah what's your relationship with your manager I know who that, that 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 is important you know the teamwork and mm-hmm. belief in the project uh, I, I i just uh watching the, your cover on viva latino is the most important playlist for the the latin music on the world you know was, that's yeah thing for a new artist maybe mm-hmm. you have a good good <laughs> team before <laughs> yeah, <next> yeah. <laughs> I know, but that is important, you know? They're they're cool. Um, So they, like, obviously they know what they're doing. But I just feel like throughout this whole thing, I've also been, like, finding myself and, you know, like, who I am as an artist and what I want my projects to look like and stuff. And they're just very receptive to me being that person and to me actually, like, going out of my way to create the stuff that I'm sending out to my fans and that I'm, and that I'm making. So I, I really like that they let me be so open about all that stuff and um, that they're also cool too. Cause the jokes are, are good. We're always laughing. So nice. that's fun. Parate, you, you're a songwriter too, no? Or you mm-hmm. compose your music with another songwriters. What is your step by step for creating mm-hmm. your music? Yeah, so usually it's Romans uh, producing. So I'll like go into the studio, kind of say what we want to do, create the vibe that we're feeling. We'll like switch different vibes or um, beats. And then after that, we'll decide like what we want to write about. And usually like whenever I hear the song, I'll hear what I want to write about. So it just comes really quickly. Or I'm just like, how do I want to explain this? Uh, And then for the Spanish ones, so... I will try to write them, but like sometimes I don't know how to form the sentences or things like that. So we have like help for those parts, but I just, I want like the same messages to be in the Spanish way that like I'm thinking. And then it's, yo sé que estoy diciendo en inglés, but when it comes to Spanish, I'm just like, yeah, let me double check that really quickly. You need to feel it, you know, that's important that, for, yeah, to send the message. Mm-hmm. That's, that's for real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you know what? Parate is an amazing song. Thank you. Uh, the beats are crazy. You know? Yeah, that one. It's because it's weird because it's like slow in the beginning or like sensual kind of. And then the chorus comes and it's just like, I see que parate, 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 parate. I mean, yeah, like there's definitely those there. Whenever I was trying to like pinpoint, like, okay, what does this sound like? I feel like because it's so different there was or like just different aspects to the weirdness of it kind of it was it's like its own little thing basically so it was it's fun to like see who you can hear like in the music because obviously we're all influenced by so many things so yeah muy bien, muy bien. bueno música que viene coming up new music in spanish in, in english back and forth what is the the next step in your career pues vamos a tener una mezcla de español y de inglés um, y a ver pero por ahora solo estoy en el estudio como estoy rehearsing ahorita por un show um, that we're doing in like YouTube porque sabes que no podemos hacer tours or I like know that. That's that. I know yeah <laughs> so now I'm just like we're just trying to get shows out there and, and talk to the fans so we have some we might have a little Christmas surprise coming up oh. um, but definitely working on some some new like 
Spanish vibes and English vibes. Sounds good. Maybe a YouTube concert live for your fans. Mm -hmm. Sounds like a It's plan, like you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. You have a, a band? So the live shows, I feel like those are going to be sick because I am a very creative person. So I like the visuals. If the visuals don't fit the lyrics and like the things I'm feeling, then, you know, it all has to kind of connect in a way so you can really get the vibes. Um, but I feel like for tours, I'll probably like, we might have some live instruments because it's always cool to have like the real thing there. But mm -hmm. if not, then it'll be to track and... And yeah, we'll like do dancers, the visuals will be fire, so yeah. Yeah, you are a dancer. You are maybe like a, a TikToker yeah. a lot. You love it, no? Yeah, I mean, it's fun. I like TikTok because you can just do random videos on there or I do like the covers or if I'm like, yo, my new song came out. But yeah, it's, it's fun. I like TikTok. What do you think about that, the new era of the music? Maybe the singers need to connect directly with your fans mm -hmm. and right now you not only make a interviews you you need to hey everybody good morning how are you how you doing how are you vibes today you know hey the song hey the challenge you know yeah. a lot of activities the artists need today what do you think about it so i think like everybody just wants to especially with like with the music that's the first thing that connects people because they're there to yeah. they're, they're there they like your music and what you're doing and then whenever they see the personality follows and it's like the person like cares for them and stuff like that just that always helps so i feel like going out on social media and stuff like anytime that i can talk to my fans i'm like on instagram i'm texting them i'm like on twitter and youtube and stuff so yeah i love like having a lot of outfits especially now since la cuarentena uh, y no podemos ver each other so it's just nice to have social media you enjoy live right now in los angeles i do i miss the rain because i'm from texas and it always rains there and like it's like gloomy one second and then sunny the next second so it's really confusing but in los angeles it's just sunny all the time so different Yeah, so I'm like, where's the rain? Where are the seasons? Like, let me be happy. <laughs> That's crazy. We, we need that. We need that more. <laughs> uh, you, you are so sweet. You are amazing. I love your talent. Mm -hmm. I love your vibe. Congrats for that. You connect amazing. Thank really. you. Um, the last thing is, I know you have a wish list maybe for collapse. I know you like the music uh, with maybe sounds like uh j balby nikki jam that vibe or rosalia no uh, mm -hmm. maybe put a wish list you admire that music you admire that songs maybe collab of the future yeah okay so yeah you said j balby nikki jam rosalia um i really love sebastian yatra i used to do covers of his on youtube okay Cielo's pretty lit um, ¿qué más? Maluma, tal vez, no sé. Maluma. Pero a ver, porque... Maybe in the future one day. No, 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 no. The sky's the limit. The sky's hey. the limit. Yep. The sky's the limit. Thank you so much for, for your time, Alaina. You're Thank so sweet. You. Uh, you know what? Parate is a great song. Your music's a great music. Your social media for... The people follow you and uh, nah, yeah. I enjoy the music. So my Instagram, Elena underscore Castillo, and every like music platforms are just Elena Castillo. So it's real easy, real simple. If you wanna, you wanna follow, you wanna check it out. Thank you for <laughs> for your interview here in, in La Charla Podcast. Thank you for having me. It was really really fun. <laughs>